Oliver, I'm willing to hear what you have to say. Lord Afmau, please, please, please believe me, I never meant for this to happen. I was just going to get more goods to sell from a nearby village when they approached me and threatened my life if I refused to tell them whatever they wanted to know. I beg of you, spare me. <sighs> Oliver, I'm disappointed that you spoke, but you haven't been in this village for long. The fact that you're here right now tells me a lot, because if you didn't care about this village, you wouldn't be here trying to apologize to me. So, so you mean... <sighs> I trust what you're saying. Otherwise, I think you probably would have left here along with Zane and the Lord of Scaleswind and just everyone. So, I trust you. Thank you, Lord Afmal. Any goods I get that you want are yours. All yours. I swear to you, I will pick up a sword and defend this village. I never, ever meant to cause any harm. My lady, thank you. You're welcome, Oliver. But now I need to go talk... Just take your leave. I need to speak with Lawrence immediately, especially about the amulet and, and everything that's just going on. Lawrence! Are you here? Lawrence, I need to speak with you. The conversation we are about to have stays strictly between you and I, Lord Afmal. I'm sure you know how big the armies of Scaleswin are, and with Zane involved, we have to assume he'll join in with Scaleswin as well, given his reputation. <sighs> he has something to do with this, Lawrence. I know he has something to do with this. He may have Afmal, but now is not the time to be pointing fingers. I understand we have an undying vengeance on him, but look at me. Now is not the time to make rash decisions. If every single decision we make from here on out will have consequences. Consequences that will affect the life of our village, our people. We must refrain from accusing Zane until we can, without a doubt, prove he is behind all of this. If we accuse him in front of the Lord of Scaleswind without any proof, that might be exactly what he wants. The Lord of Scaleswind already sees us as an enemy. Adding more salt to the wound will only make him launch an attack on us sooner. <sighs> I hate when people talk logic. Especially with Zane, but... <sighs> Is it... Lawrence could... Zane could have planned this from the start. There might be some trace of evidence that we could use against him. It's possible. Though, right now, we need to focus on how to defuse the situation while we're looking for Nicole and come to an agreement on where to hide the amulet. It makes me wonder, how did Zane know about Nicole? Uh, Caitlin. Caitlin, yes, Caitlin! She's the only one that's here. She's, she's on the jury of nine. She's the only one that could have told Zane about this. With all due respect, Lord Afmau, there is no possible way Caitlin could have done that. She hasn't left her boat, nor any activity has been seen from around her boat. I have all the guards taking shift on watching over her. Like I said before, I do not trust that woman, and I had ri a rightful cause. No, it must have been someone else, if not her. I mean, okay, Caitlin is the obvious choice, but... I don't know. Lawrence, who can we trust? Afmau, right now, we can only trust ourselves. The location of the amulet needs to stay strictly between you and I. This entire conversation stays between you and I. Until we know who has leaked all the information to the Lord of Scaleswind and Zane, there is no one we can truly trust. Do you agree? <sighs> yes. And I completely understand why it needs to be this way. It hurts my heart that it has to be this way. As everyone in the village, I have come to love and cherish, but we need to reevaluate who our true friends are, which brings me to Nicole. Why didn't she tell us about her being the daughter of Scaleswind? I mean, that's not something you just hide from the people you claim to care about. She was so helpful with the village, building, guarding. This just doesn't make any sense. Plus, there's the very fact that she was supposed to marry Gareth. Did she know who Garth was only to watch him from the shadows? There are so many questions I have, but the one I fear is, did Zane take Nicole? If he took her, then he can just hold her until 
until Skelton attacks us, but... Caitlin's the only one that's here that could possibly do something with Zane. We've seen what's going on. I saw Nicole at the baby shower the other day. It's... No, it had to be someone else. It must have. That's the only thing I can think of logically. <sighs> There's so many weird things I've been seeing around here, but Lawrence, something that really stuck out to me, and I'm not supposed to tell you this, because he told me not to, but Lawrence, there was a man around Malachi and Levin's treehouse that had attacked me. You mean the day I saw you coming from the tree Afmao, how could you not tell me this? Did he touch you? What did he do? When I get my hands on him, I'll make him- <sighs> Lawrence, he didn't do anything. He- He actually tried to help me. I don't like it when other men put their hands on you. If he wanted to warn you, he had a funny way of showing it. Lord Afmao, I demand you take me to him. This man might be the one who just put Phoenix Drop in danger. All right. Let's go, Lawrence. I know exactly where he is. not your enemy. You held a sword to her throat. Right now, everyone is a threat. I'm sure you've come to that conclusion yourself, Lawrence. How do you know my name? I wanted to help you and Lady Afmao, but first I need you to shed your guard and trust me. This coming from the man who's holding a sword to my face? The moment I let this sword down, I can tell you'll take the opportunity to attack, based on your stance, since you haven't backed down. Lawrence? I know a huge part of what's going on here. Before I can even begin to explain, I need you to know that you both trust me. Lawrence, he saved me once. I don't trust you, but I trust Afmal's judgment. Therefore, you have my trust as well. Well, that's a start. We need to go to a more secluded area where we can talk. It's not safe to speak in this of this matter here. Follow me. Just calm down, Lawrence. We can trust him. So this is where he's been hiding. I'm sorry. I thought I told you to tell no one that I was here. That was before Zane and the Lord of Scales went and just all this stuff, all this crazy stuff started happening. I can let it slide this time simply because it was for that reason. I was there when Zane and the Lord of Scales went approached the gates. I would have attacked and killed Zane myself had the Lord of Scales went not been there. If I did, I know Zane would have killed the Lord himself, and blame for the deed of killing the Lord, even if I had successfully killed Zane, would have fallen on Phoenix Drop. Your village would have been destroyed by the army of Scaleswinds seeking revenge. How do you know all of this? That stone is broken. Wait, that's... That's... Isn't that an amulet that used- I have one of- but wait. This. I've had this for months. It's connected to the entirety of the Jury of Nine, Zane, and spies who have been working under Zane's command. I've been monitoring them and carefully moving so as not to bring attention to the fact that someone has been peering in on their conversations. Every action I take is not without planning and consideration of the consequences. I can tell you now that your village, Phoenix Drop, was at the center of many conversations had over this communication amulet. What? Wait, you've had this all along? What? Has Zane been planning this? Like this entire plan? This entire time to come to Phoenix Drop has... What? 
No, Zane is very opportunistic. He's smart when it comes to taking an advantage of a situation, but I cannot say that I've heard anything of him planning for events to turn out this way. His marriage to you was most likely his original plan, not just to obtain the amulets, but to stop Phoenix Drop from rising. What? Why? I, I don't understand. We're not... I mean... We're not even a threat! You were not a threat. But slowly, your village was becoming one. Do you realize how many magic users are in Phoenix Drop? Not to mention a witch who's efficient in witchery, an elf from the sacred fortress of Yagrasil, and the werewolf. On top of that, Lawrence, a shadow knight. Even though you are outnumbered, your village has people who could make an army overpowered. If, if that's the case and we have that power, why don't we just... Why don't we just gather so many people and we could crush Zane. I could just give him these amulets. He could leave us alone. We, we don't have to go through any of this. No. Do not dare give Zane that amulet. Like I said before, Zane is an opportunist. Why would he allow Phoenix Drop to stand while he has the Lord of Scales when ready to attack you? The thought of getting his way for both obtaining the amulet as well as destroying you is too good for him to pass up. Well then, where is Nicole? I don't know. Whoever moved Nicole did it without communicating over the amulet. All I can tell you is that the person who is a spy has been here for a very long time. Wait, Lawrence? Wait, how can you so easily trust me? Lawrence, as I said before, you were mentioned many times as being a Shadow Knight from the village of Matelli. I know it's not you, and you are here in this conversation now. Lawrence, I see. Then you must have heard the spy's name. We don't have too many people around here in Phoenix Drop. We know everyone by name. <sighs> I do not know who the spy is. The spy's name is Velis. They are going under a different name here in Phoenix Drop, which I have not heard. The spy was most likely the one who moved Nicole. If that's the case, she can't be too far from town. There's no way they could have moved her without someone or myself seeing it. Lawrence, then why should we trust you? How do we know you aren't a spy, trying to throw us off your path? <sighs> Lawrence, a long time ago, when we were in the frozen tundra, this man saved my life from a bunch of werewolves. I really do trust him. I see. <sighs> the amulet you have, it's unfortunately not the only one. What? What do you mean? From the knowledge that I have now, Zane gave my son the first amulet when he was on the outskirts of my town. He ran home to show me the amulet, thinking it was a great treasure. As soon as I touched it, it was too late. The life force of everyone in my town, every single person, was gone, except me. I watched my wife and son lay dead while that bastard took the amulet from me. Those amulets are no simple trinkets. Each one is a piece of the Moonlight Ward, a mythic item used by one of the Divine Warriors. It was an item that could be used to traverse dimensions without the use of any materials. The amulet was ripped apart by Enki, a curse put on each piece to prevent anyone to, from, to prevent any one person from rejoining them. Wait. What? Why does Zane- if there's more amulets and ours isn't the only one, why does Zane want all of them then? I don't know and I do not want to find out. Now it's best you return to your home. If you're gone for too long, I'm afraid whoever is watching you may become suspicious. Please, take your leave. I will be watching. Okay. Um, Lawrence, let's get out of here. This is the most difficult situation we've ever been in. We've ever been in as a village. Lawrence, I have... I have no idea what to do. Lady Aphmau, where do we hide the amulet? What? <sighs> Lawrence, I don't know. I honestly don't know where we can hide the amulet, but... You should stay with me until we can hide it. 
I agree. If we separate, we are vulnerable. Athmau, we do not tell anyone about this amulet until we hide it. Not Zoe, not Garth, not even Levin or Malachi. We need to keep them safe. Even if keeping the truth from them hurts, it will be worth it once we know the village is safe. What if we tell one person, and the next thing you know they're coming to the village, and Levin gets... No. No. Let's retire for the night. We'll tell the village about Nicole and the immediate danger tomorrow. Nothing about... Nothing at all about the amulet. You're right, Lawrence. We can hold a meeting in the plaza, and what we do is we tell everyone what's going on. We tell everyone we need to find Nicole. I just hope everyone who's looking right now finds her. I know we have to hide that amulet and keep it safe. So, let's figure out a place to hide it. Phoenix Drop. I, Lord Athmau, stand before you to disclose incredibly important information about recent events. I'm sure you've all heard the rumor by now that Phoenix Drop has been threatened by the Lord of Scaleswind. This is true. We are at danger of facing war if we do not deliver Nicole to the Lord of Scaleswind within the next five days. Nicole has been missing since yesterday and none of our guard was able to find her last night. I'm asking all of you to band together to find her. She has to be handed over to the Lord of Scaleswind. I hate to force Nicole to do such a thing, but for our safety, it has become a necessity. I ask all of you to stay inside the gates until Nicole has been safely delivered to her father. I cannot risk any more of our people disappearing. Be on your guard when outside. That is all I have to say for now. Thank you, everyone.